In the early years of the 20th century, an era marked by rapid technological advancements and an insatiable desire for progress, a vision was born. This vision was not a mere whim of fancy, but a grand ambition to construct the largest, most luxurious passenger ship the world had ever seen. This would be a vessel that would forever etch its name in the pages of history. This was the dream that birthed the Titanic. In the bustling shipyards of Belfast, Northern Ireland, this grand dream began to take shape. The year was 1908. Harland & Wolff, a shipbuilding company with a reputation for excellence, took on the monumental task. The project was of an unprecedented scale, with over 3,000 men working tirelessly to bring the Titanic to life. The first stage was the design and planning. With the blueprints laid out, a clear vision of the Titanic began to form. A vessel of such magnitude was not without its challenges. The sheer size of the ship required innovative solutions. The shipbuilders constructed a massive gantry, taller than any building in the city, just to accommodate the Titanic's colossal hull. Once the design was complete, the keel, the backbone of the ship, was laid. This was followed by the construction of the steel frame, a skeleton that would house the Titanic's grandeur. The process was laborious, with each piece of steel painstakingly riveted by hand. The riveters, men of steel themselves, worked in gruelling conditions, their sweat and toil shaping the Titanic's form. Then came the outfitting, the process of installing the Titanic's luxurious amenities. The Titanic was not just a ship, it was a floating palace. From the opulent grand staircase to the state-of-the-art gymnasium, no expense was spared. Each detail, each fixture, each piece of furniture was a testament to the era's craftsmanship. Finally, on the 31st of May, 1911, the Titanic was ready for her launch. Crowds gathered, their breaths held in anticipation, as the behemoth slid into the waters of the River Lagan. The launch was a success, marking the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. Yet, the Titanic's legacy is not just in its grandeur, but in its impact on shipbuilding. The challenges faced during its construction led to significant advancements in shipbuilding technology, many of which are still in use today. And perhaps more importantly, the Titanic story is a reminder of the human spirit of innovation, the audacity to dream big, and the determination to make those dreams a reality. Even though the Titanic met a tragic end, its construction remains an iconic moment in history, a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. The echoes of the hammer strikes, the sparks of the welding torches, the sweat and toil of the workers, live on, etched in the steel and rivets of every ship that sails today. For the Titanic was not just a ship, it was a symbol of an era, a monument to human ambition, and a testament to the spirit of progress and ingenuity.